If you're a six-figure entrepreneur that is looking for advice on how to price client services, stay tuned. I got a strategy for you that's going to help you tremendously. What's going on guys? Henry Kaminsky, the brand doctor from uniquedesigns.net with another quick little video for you to help you build a profitable and reputable brand. And today I'm going to be talking about how to price client services so you're not over or underpricing your products or services. So if you're not sure on how to particularly price your service. Here's a couple of things that I want you to pay attention to. One is value is extremely subjective. I'll tell you a funny story. Some of you guys might've heard this before, but I'm a car guy. I love cars and I happen to have some expensive cars. I have expensive taste when it comes to cars. Okay. And on the other hand, my wife could care less. <laughs> She treats cars to get them from point A to point B. As long as they got four wheels, a door, and a steering wheel, she's good. <laughs> and for me, it's a lot different. You know, I love cars and I just happen to love purchasing the higher end models. So, I value cars on a way different scale than my wife, okay? So value is very, very subjective. Value is determined through the eye of the beholder, okay? So what we need to do here is this. We need to understand where the client is coming from and what it is that you are delivering as a product or service, how that is going to affect their bottom line, okay? So what I ask a prospect before I take them on as a client is this. How much money are you looking to generate this year in revenue, okay? And if you don't know exactly, that's fine, but I need to get an understanding of where you're at. Some will say uh, about 750,000, a million, 2 million, 10 million, the client that's on the verge of doing 24 million this year. Okay, now, what is one client worth to you? Okay, I want to I want to understand what one client is worth to you. Now, I work with a lot of six figure entrepreneurs that sell expensive stuff. So, a typical client is worth anywhere from fifteen to twenty to thirty to fifty to some hundred thousand dollars. I have a client in the consulting space. If she lands one deal, that is a potential half a million dollar project. Okay. Or a million dollar project depends. So there's a lot on the line. Okay. And the service that I provide for them is looked at at a way higher scale than somebody who's just starting out or only has products or services that are selling at three or 400 bucks. And so, you know, they, they, they need a whole bunch of of, of things to sell in order to get to that level, right? So understanding those two questions and asking those two questions is going to give you a good idea of how they value their client, okay? And so when you hear that, you have a better understanding. And now you ask yourself, okay, so if you want to make a million dollars this year, what percentage of your profits or revenues would you invest to assure that you will create that million dollar business? Okay. And then just shut up and let them talk because they're going to price the product or service themselves. Okay, because you can't make major moves with minor effort. Okay, and so 
if they're only willing to spend a couple hundred dollars to make a million dollars, the logic doesn't make sense. So you have to challenge the logic. You have to challenge that what it is that they're going to invest in, whatever that product or service is, needs to be of value enough to help them achieve the end desired result that they're getting. So if you are, if, if, if a client is only $200 to them and you're pricing your service at two grand, they have to sell 10 of those things in order to make their money back. That may be a lot, it may be a little, depending on the client, right? But if one client is worth 30 grand and you price your service at 30 grand, they only need one client to make their money back. That's probably easy to do, especially if they're good at what they do. So do you see how value is very subjective? So I wanna leave you with this. I want you to check out a book. It's called Pricing Creativity and the author is Blair Enns. B-L-A-I-R-E-N-N-S, okay? And he is the master of value-based pricing. Okay, he's the one who introduced this concept to me and I would challenge you to go and study value-based pricing more and understand what value-based pricing is all about. There's another book out there called, uh, that he published called The Win Without Pitching Manifesto, another great book for creatives or consultants. Honestly, consultants that want to create a personal brand and lifestyle that they can work with less people and make more money, okay? Check out those two books, okay? By, I am by no means a master at value-based pricing. I am learning it as we speak. But I have implemented this questioning into my prospecting and it has helped me scale my profits. And it's also helped my clients scale their profits. I have a client in South Africa who is a wizard, absolute genius in this particular software tool, right? And mechanics around the country, around the world, reach out to him and consult with him, right? Because he's the only guy that knows, only guy, I swear, that knows this software inside and out. And he is leaving a lot of money on the table because he's not charging enough for his consultation fee because he didn't see the value. So when I said, we need to change your consultation fee from 600 to 1,000 because people are, would actually pay more than that depending on the issue. I'll give you another example. So what, some of his clients are construction companies, right? And big construction companies too. They have multi-million dollar projects on the line and one of their trucks goes down. How much is that repair worth to them to get it back up and running so that they can complete that project on time so that they don't lose any money on that job? Versus the do-it-yourselfer guy who just has a you know, Ford Explorer in their driveway who's trying to figure out, you know, he wants to figure out and diagnose the issues of his truck on his own. And so, you know, it, it may not be worth it to, for him to meet with this guy one-on-one, -on -one, right? Maybe it, a course would, would do, right? And he's not willing to pay that price because the risk involved isn't that high. Maybe he just can't get to the grocery store, right? That day because his truck's down versus the construction company who's losing millions by the day if they don't get this truck back up and running. You see what I'm saying, guys? That's the concept that I want you to get when it comes to pricing your services, okay? So hope you got some value out of this. I can go so deep into this, but I just wanna give you a high level view. If you want deeper understanding, I would go to the pros, go check out Blair N's books. Um, I think you go to another website called winwithoutpitching.com. Um, you'll get a whole bunch of insight there about value-based pricing. 
and uh, he's got a great email list too. By the way, I, I I get his emails when he sends them out, and they're they're just great reads. So, hope you got some value, guys. Drop some comments below if you have any questions. Drop them down below as well. I will be very responsive and get back to you as soon as possible. Like and share this video if you think it's going to help another six-figure entrepreneur scale to that next level. And last but not least, guys, if you want more videos like this to give you that insight to help you brand that million-dollar business, attract higher quality clients, leverage your time to help you scale your profits, then stay tuned and hit that little subscribe button right now. I'm going to produce three videos a week for you to help you do just that. And then last but not least, last, last but not least, if you're interested in having a conversation with me one-on-one -on -one to see how I can help you build that brand and give you that step-by-step -step process, click the link below and schedule that introductory console call with me today. And we will see how my team and I can help you get to that next level and cut that learning curve by 90%. So have an amazing day, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.